So we start with exercise 12.3 of linear inequations and we are on the first question. <clears throat> question 1, we'll be doing all the sums because equation in equation is slightly new to you. So we'll do all the sums. Yeah. If the replacement set, uh, yeah, of course, so the solved example becomes your homework. Yeah. If the replacement set is equals to minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3, find the solution set off. So, yeah, this is the replacement set. Here. So, that's replacement set could be seen as the universal set which is given over here. So, the replacement set over here is given as, so replacement set is given as minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, and 3. Accordingly, you have got the questions. The question 1 is, x is greater than minus 2. So if x is greater than minus 2, what will be the numbers which will be a part and parcel of the answer? So then the case, the solution set. So solution set will be equal to, you know, all the numbers more than minus 1 will be automatically minus 1, 0, 1 and 3. So this will be the answer for the first part. The next question is x is less than minus 2 so if it is exists less than minus 2 the solution set will be equal to so less than minus 2 will be minus 3 minus 5 and minus 7 third question the question being x is greater than 2 then definitely the solution set will be equal to 2 came okay, against if 3 here so only answer will be 3 fourth one if minus 5 x greater than 5 so how do you read this it is x is greater than minus 5 but x is less than equal to 5 okay so here you have got a range by this kind of a thing we are saying a range that kya hai? okay x jo hai na wo minus 5 se bada hai par 5 se chota hai like so it is this way right so in this case Minus 5 is a bada, and if minus 5 is not equal to, that's why minus 5 will not be included. So the solution set will be equal to, now minus 5 will not be included, but minus 3 will be there, minus 1 will be there, 0 will be there, 1 will be there, 2 will be, 3 will be there. So of course, you don't have anything greater than 3, so we'll end over here. So this is the answer, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, and 3. So you can see that this is we have to find out this range in this particular uh, replacement cell. The fifth one being minus 8 is x one. So x is greater than minus 8 and it is less than 1. So it is between minus 8 and 1. So accordingly the solution set will be minus 7 will automatically be included minus 5 will be included, minus 3, minus 1 and 0 will be included. 1 will not be included because it is only x is greater, uh, x is less than 1. Means 1 is not included. So 1 will not be there in the solution set. The last one for this particular question is 0 is less than equal to x is less than equal to 4. So x is greater than 0 but x is less than 4 so when it is between 0 and 4 so the solution set accordingly will be equal to just 0 1 and 3 because 0 will be included because x is greater than equal to 0 so 0 will be there 1 will be there and 3 will be there this is your answer for question number 1 about the replacement set next we see is question number 2 yeah, very easy. This part is very easy because you are not solving any kind of equation. You are just finding out the solution set from the replacement set. So a replacement set is something similar to the universal set what you had in the sets thing. And the solution set is nothing but the A, B, C, which we have in set A is a part of the universal set. Right? So, this is how it has been there. Now question number two, represent the solution of the following inequation graphically. Uh, so you have to do the graphical method. So first one is the question is x is less than equal to 4 and x belongs to natural number. 
we have to graphically represent this thing. So obviously, x is less than 4. Okay, x is less than equal to 4. That's why the solution set will be equal to, now it will be, it's a natural number. So it will start with 4, 3, 2, and 1. So this is the answer. So accordingly, we'll draw a number line wherein we'll be drawing here as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. To make it simple, we'll draw write only those numbers which are to be represented. We are not writing anything further so that there is no confusion in the answers. You see the next question and that is x is less than 5 and x belongs to whole number. So now we have got the solution set will be equal to less than 5 but 5 is not included so it will be 4, 3, 2, 1 but 0 will be included because it's a whole number. So now we are representing this on a number line. So number line will start with a 0 pe mark karenge. Fair 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the points which are to be highlighted. So this, are the, this is the answer of the solution set. The next one is the third question. Minus 3 less than x less than 3 where x belongs to i. This is a question. Now of course this is equal to also. Okay. So the solution set if I find out will be equal to minus 3 se chalu hoga because it is equal to also minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 because 3 is not equal to so it will end at 2. Accordingly you have got this number line you start with minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and you mark these points like this. Okay, very easy. Yeah. So this was question number 3. We now move on. Sorry, question number 2. Now we move on to question number 3. So question number 3. So in question number 3, you have got a replacement set given to you. The replacement set is this way. The replacement set is equal to minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6. Okay. And the solution set which is given to me is given as minus 4 is less than equal to x is less, less than 4. So the solution set as per the Rooster method will be equal to minus 4 is included, minus 2 will be there, 0 will be there, 2 will be there. But further nothing will be there because the replacement set that does not contain 3 or so we end it at 2 only. So accordingly uh, do we need to draw it and refer in graphically. So graphically it will be this way. So you are going to mark over here minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2. Okay, this is what you are going to mark over here. So that was answer for question number 12.3, third sum. Okay, now you can see over here that in a number line we cannot skip the numbers. So what will happen is I will need to write over here one sec, I'll just clear this thing. Now because I cannot skip the numbers in case of a number line, so I'll have to write it over here as minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, I'll write complete thing whatever is there from for the and then for the answer, I'll mark only those numbers. Okay, I'll just mark those numbers as a solution set. Okay, so minus 3, minus 1, oh, we'll mark negative. But otherwise, we are keeping it this way. So this is how you are going to uh, write the graphically write the solution set for question number 3.
Okay, now move on to question number four. Okay, question four. If the solution set of the inequality is x is less than four. If the replacement set is one, two, find the solution set. Sorry, find the solution set for this thing. So first one is if the replacement set is equals to one, two, three, up to ten. Okay, then the solution set will be equal to it is greater than four. Okay, or the number so x is sorry x is less than four. So automatically it will be one, two, three. See the next one, where the replacement set is given as minus one, zero, one, two, five, eight. Okay, then it is less than four, so the solution set will be equal to minus one, zero, one, two. Okay. The third one, if the replacement set is equals to minus five and ten, if the replacement set has got only two numbers, minus five and ten, so of course the solution set will be equal to just minus five because x is less than four, so minus five is the only number which is less than four in this case. And the fourth one is if replacement set is equals to Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In that case, the solution set will be a null set. Means it will not have any. Kind of, we can also write it as like this. Okay, so it will be a null set. Null set means it does not have any kind of element present in it. So when it is not having any element present in it, it is called as a null set. So. Question four will be one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus six, minus five, and null set. We now move on to question number five. Okay, moving on to question number five. If the replacement set is this, find the truth set of the following. Truth set is nothing but the solution set. Truth set and solution set is one of the same. So we have got over here fifth question. The replacement set is given as minus six, minus three, zero, three, six, nine, twelve. See the first question. The first question is two x minus three is greater than seven. So we need to solve this thing. What did I say? All the x on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So this number go on the other side. So it will be two x is greater than seven plus three. So two x is greater than ten. So x is greater than ten upon two. It's not a negative number, so it's remain as it is. So x is greater than five. So this is the answer. So accordingly, if x is greater than five, my solution set from this value will be greater than five. So automatically, the solution set will be all the values which are greater than five will be only six, nine, and twelve. Okay, so that is the solution set: six, nine, and ten, twelve. Yeah. We move on to the next part. So in the second part, you got. 3x plus 8 is less than equal to 2. So again the same way. 3x is less than equal to 2 minus 8. 3x is less than equal to minus 6. X is less than equal to minus 6 upon 3. So x is less than equal to minus 2. Okay. Here I did not divide by negative number, so no change in sign. The change change is only if this would have been negative. Okay, so minus two. So accordingly, my solution set. So x is less than minus two. So what is the number less than minus two? 
So the answer will be minus 3 and minus 6 as per the replacement set. So as per the replacement set, the answer for the second part will be minus 6 and minus 3. We now move on to the third part. It is minus 3 less than 1 minus 2x. So minus 3 minus 1 is less than minus 2x. So minus 4 is less than minus 2x. Now when I take the 2 minus, I have to interchange it. So minus 4 upon minus 2 will be greater than x. So minus minus cancels, it will be 2. So 2 is greater than x or x is less than 2. See, when I say 2 is greater than x or x is less than 2, it is 1 and the same. So that's why it will be. So it is x is less than 2. So all the numbers less than 2. What are the numbers less than 2? Your solution set will be all the numbers less than 2, which will be 0, minus 3 and minus 6. Okay. That will be the answer for sum number 5 ka third sum. Minus 6, minus 3 and 0. 0 minus 6 minus 1, one and the same. You, you can write it in any other form. Okay, this was the part of question number 5. Now we will move on to question number 6 which is the basic equation form. So now it are the normal sums what we are talking about. Okay, where the x will be there won't be any replacement set but there will be the replacement set will be either a natural number or a whole number or an integer so we are just going to find out that what will be the solution set from the natural number or the whole number or integer so we move on to question number six the first sum 4x plus 1 is less than 17 where x belongs to natural number n so you need to just solve this thing same way 4x less than 17 minus 1 4x less than 16 x less than 16 upon 4 x is less than 4 now you know it's a natural number and x is less than 4 so the solution set will be equal to 1, 2 and 3 because the number x is less than 4 for a natural number so 1, 2 and 3 next sum 4x plus 1 is greater than less than equal to 17 but x is now a whole number Okay, so two changes here there was only less than but here it is less than equal to and now instead of natural number it's a whole number it's all normally so the yeah, same way no changes 4x less than equal to 17 minus 1 4x less than equal to 16 x less than equal to 16 upon 4 so x is less than equal to 4 equal to be here is 4 will be included hence the solution set will start with 0 1 2 3 4 because whole number starts with 0 and 4 is the last number so accordingly the answer will be 0 1 2 3 4 for sixth cup second we now move on to sixth cup third So the third sum, 4 is greater than 3x minus 11 where x belongs to natural number. Okay. So all numbers on one side, 4 plus 11 greater than 3x, 15 greater than 3x. 15 upon 3 greater than x so 5 is greater than x therefore x is less than 5 it's a rational number so the solution set will be equal to 1 2 3 4 because 5 will not be included natural number starts with 1 so it will be 1 2 4 all the numbers between 1 and 4 
so that will be the solution set for sum number six ka third we move on to six ka fourth minus 17 is greater than or equal to 9x minus 8 where x belongs to z z and i both represents integers so whether i write it as z x belongs to z that is also integers and x belongs to i is also integers solving the same way minus 17 plus 8 is less than or equal to 9x so 9x minus 9 is less than or equal to 9x minus 9 upon 9 is less than or equal to x minus 1 is less than or equal to x therefore x is greater than or equal to minus 1 that means the number x is greater than or equal to minus 1 so the solution set will start with minus 1 go to 0 1 2 3 and so on because till infinity x is z that is integers so it will write up to infinity so minus 1 is chalo hoga and infinity be khatam hoga that was sum number 6 ka fourth we now move on to sum number 7 ka first Okay, sum number 7, first sum, 2y minus 1 upon 5 is less than or equal to 2, where y belongs to natural number. Again, very simple. What did I say? Get rid of the denominator first. So, denominator yaan pe hai, wo udhe chala jayega. Because it's positive, so no need to change this. It will be directly 2y minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 into 5. So 2y minus 1 is 10, 10. 2y is less than or equal to 10 plus 1. So y is less than or equal to 11 upon 2. Okay. Now, it's a natural number. So it is y is equal to 5, 1 upon 2. So because y is a natural number and y it is less than 5 and a half, that's why the value of y that is a solution set will be equal to, it will start with 1 because of natural number, 2 will be there, 3 will be there, 4 will be there, 5 will also be there, okay, because 5 and a half, hai. less than 5 and a half, hai. and 5 will automatically less than half, well less than 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 is less than 5 and a half, that's why you are getting the 5 also over here. So answer for sum number 7 ka first will be as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see the second sum of 7th. 2y plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 less than or equal to 3, where y belongs to w. First of all, I will take this on this side. So it will be 2y plus 1 upon 3 will be less than or equal to 3 minus 1. So 2y plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 2. Sorry, is less than or equal to 2. 3 goes here. So it will be 2y plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 into 3. So 2y is equal to 6 minus 1. This one goes here. So 2y is less than or equal to 5. So y is less than or equal to 5 upon 2 so y is less than or equal to 2 1 upon 2 2 and a half so because it's a whole number therefore the solution set will be equal to 0 1 and 2 whole number starts with 0 so 0 will be a number which is less than 2 and a half 1 is also less than 2 and a half 2 is also less than 2 and a half so the answer is only 0 1 2 for question number 7 ka second sum. We now move on to question number 3 of 7th. Question 3. 
that is 2 upon 3p plus 5 is less than 9 where p belongs to a whole number. Same thing again, taking this on this side, so it will be 2 upon 3p is less than 9 minus 5. So 2 upon 3p is less than 4. Now taking it on the other side, so p will be less than 4 into 3 upon 2. Okay, this denominator goes here for numerator and this goes here. You cancel this, so p is less than 6. So accordingly we have the solution set as it's a whole number, so it will start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Understood? Very simple sums. There is no change, no difference between this and the equations. So if sign ka different hai or sign mein se ki hai, if you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number only then the sign reverses. Otherwise absolutely the same. Otherwise if utna dhyan rakhna hai, it is greater than this one or less than this one. So universe solution set mein kya likhna hai? Usse bada number ya chota number. We go to the fourth sum of question number seven. Question four of seven. Minus two p plus three is greater than five, where p belongs to integer. So we'll multiply the thing first. So minus two p minus six is greater than 5 so minus 2p is greater than 5 plus 6 so minus 2p is greater than 11 now because it is minus 2 so i am dividing by a negative number so the signs will reverse so accordingly p will be less than 11 upon minus 2 so p will be less than minus 5 1 upon 2 okay now it's an integer, so p is less than minus 5.5 and a half, minus 6 se chalo hoga. Accordingly, the solution set will be equal to minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, dot, dot, dot. Okay, till infinity because it is p is less than minus 5 upon 2. So that's why the answer will be minus 6, minus 7, and so on. Okay, or you can write it also in ulta form. You can write it as dot 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 minus 8 minus 7 minus 6. Both are the same, doesn't matter at all. You are just keeping it from negative to negative infinity to towards 0. So that's the see, it's the same thing. That was question number 7. We now move on to question number 8. So question number 8, I will do one thing, question number 8, I will continue in the next video. So 8, 9, 10, 11, I will continue in the next video. <coughs>